is it too late for you to start? This is something that I always like to um, ask or I like to challenge people because I often struggle with it myself. Um, when I want to start something new, I want to start a new hobby or I'm interested in a certain thing, then I, I often say, oh, wow, this is going to take so many years and then I have to divert so many attention and effort into it. Is it too late to start? In this case, is it too late to start trading? What I ask myself is, Will it be worth it if it takes three or five, maybe six years? So think about it. Whatever your age is, whether you are 25, you're 18, you're 45, you're 55, will it be worth it if you, without distractions, without system hopping, you spend the next five years, six years, really focusing on one thing and you put all your effort and all your attention into one thing. You don't expect to overnight become a profitable trader, but you really become serious that and you really commit to it, to one thing, to learning the basics, to improving and working on yourself, to building a professional approach, getting more structured. Will it be worth it? Even if in the first one or two years you don't see immediate results, will it be worth it in five years? Or on the other hand, ask yourself, what's the alternative? Um, the alternative is that you keep doing what you have been doing. And for many traders, after years, they will see, okay, I've been in this trading for two, three, four years. I still have nothing to show for. I've, I'm not better than at the beginning. I'm losing money. I'm still making a lot of mistakes. I don't have a system. I'm all over the place. And what is it that is it that you want to repeat this process and then somehow you expect to get lucky or are you really serious and you are really ready to commit? Um, so ask yourself that and no, is it, it is not too late um, for you to start anything, whatever, if it is trading, learning a new instrument, getting in shape, um, reading more. Even people, I always admire the people when I was in university and I saw a 50 or 60 year old um, person sitting in the lectures and I always admired them. They know that it is not the end of the <laughs> of their life. They still have many, many years to go. And what is the alternative really? The alternative is that you stay at home, you do nothing and you're frustrated because you should have started a long time ago. And then in five years you tell yourself, oh, I should have started uh, five years ago. And yeah, you just will repeat this uh, circle. So commit, understand that you have time, the time is on your side. Understand that what is really the alternative and then make a commitment today and I promise you your future self will thank you. And now the path to profitability. This is very important and a few very important tips here. So many traders they try to shortcut or many traders think that trading is okay you are losing money consistently right now then something has to happen here. For most traders they believe they just have to find the right trading method and then suddenly they become winning consistently traders. Well, that's not really how trading works and I'm pretty sure that if you have watched this webinar until now, you know that this is not how trading works. Um, the pitfalls. If you have such a mindset, if you think that, okay, it is just a matter of doing something, getting something um, here by luck, by random chance, this is very dangerous when you're in such a mindset because first of all, when we just look at the approach, um, you're always looking for shortcuts, you're over leveraging, taking too big risk, jumping into trades, revenge trading, changing system, system hoppings. That's of course very wrong and very dangerous because you will be stuck in this vicious circle for years and years. At the same time, it will also foster a wrong mindset because you have high expectations uh, that, okay, I can become a profitable trader by just doing or doing nothing, essentially just becoming lucky, finding something that works. And those high expectations when you say, okay, I can become a, f a profitable trader, just um, have to somehow get lucky, then this will lead to frustration and frustration will lead to bad trading results or to a bad trading approach. And then many traders, they either become complete gamblers or they quit trading along the way. So the right path is that if you are, or you have to find yourself, where are you? If you are losing consistently, then you need to lose less first. That's very important. You don't go from losing to ma uh, to making money in uh, without any steps in between. You go from losing a lot to losing less, to avoiding the big problems, to avoiding the big losses, the dumb losses. And then when you are here, you lose less, 
you see an improvement that should give you a little bit of courage, then you go to breaking even, which means you lose some, you win some, but after a few weeks or months, you always end up at the same place. Many traders think that this is a bad place because they're still not making money, but that's a good place. That's a huge progress from uh, losing consistently and making the big losses. And then you go to um, small profits from breaking even to making small profits here and there. You, if you are a break-even trader, you look at all your previous loser, uh, losers, you look at what do the losers have in common, then you can make targeted adjustments, and then uh, if you are there, then you should have a lot of confidence. Um, trading will become more and more fun all the time, and then eventually you can make small adjustments, and then you go to winning consistently.